Many of you braved sub-zero temperatures to shed light on homeless veterans. And we first introduced you to Operation Vanguard last week. And that's where you were challenged to sleep in tents to spread awareness. After six days of sleeping in the cold, Operation Vanguard is finally over. News 10's Jordan Kudis joins us live this morning, and she spoke with one person who braved the elements. She has more on his experience. Yesterday, it was 11 degrees outside, an all-time low for the Wabash Valley, and it's even colder out here today. But many people in the valley ended up staying outside in these exact tents despite that bitter cold weather. Just to let you know that there are homeless veterans who sleep in weather conditions like this every single night. Now, overall, throughout the six days, 35 different people slept in those tents, and that was for six days straight, as I said. And others, they stopped by for a few hours to hold signs. You're actually looking at the video of what the tents looked like after that snowfall and the cold. Some of those tents were still hardly standing. In fact, some tents are still out here today because they were so cold they were stuck to the ground. Now, I had the chance to speak with Jerem Hawker, and he's one of the many who spent the night on the ice cold grounds. And I asked him, why did you go through such harsh elements for this cause? And this is how he responded. Can you imagine someone who doesn't have that and that needs that? Operation Vanguard is petitioning for those people. And awareness of that is the key of this because living in our homes and having all the comfort of life, we oftentimes forget the people who really need help. If you didn't have the opportunity to participate, there is always next year. And if you'd like to donate, you can find out how to do that on our website. That's at WTHITV.com. Reporting live from outside of REACH Services, I'm Jordan Kudish with News 10.